The time now, it's 5 o'clock God, this. Wednesday evening, June 25th, 2014. On Wednesday evening, it's time now for what a magician, PJ Wiggins, the evening report. Wednesday evening, June 25th, 2014. Good afternoon, everybody. Our congregation app. 5 o'clock in North Massachusetts, we got temperature 82 degrees. We park outside, it's humidity 65%. Wind speed southwest about 12 gusts at a 20 miles per hour. Rabbiter, it's 20 by 9, 1 inches, duper to butt. Sultry, 69 degrees, visibly 10 miles, and it's heated at 85 degrees. Alright, let's take a look at our radar scope. A line of showers and storms. From southeastern Princess Edward Island, stretching the down for central Nova Scotia, southern New Brunswick, stretching down for Maine. Bunch of New Hampshire, Vermont, and stretching in the eastern, central, and west New York, that for central and western Pennsylvania, stretching in western Virginia, and uh, to western North Carolina, eastern North Carolina, and eastern Virginia, and uh, clusters of showers and storms around South Carolina. Here we got popcorn clusters of showers and storms from eastern Kentucky, stretching in Indiana, Ohio, northern Illinois, western Wisconsin, western Michigan, and northeastern UP and Michigan. Here, and uh, for Saturday, eastern Wisconsin, western Michigan, and northeastern Iowa. Northeastern Iowa, stretching in Michigan, and northeastern Iowa. And up in eastern and western portions of Iowa. And also, we got popcorn clusters and showers from the resorts from eastern Tennessee, from western North Carolina, and north central Florida. And bands of showers and thunderstorms around southern Florida here. And we got bands of heavy rain and lots of showers and storms from western Alabama, down from Mississippi, and stretching to north central Louisiana. And we got a band of heavy rain and thunderstorms from South Louisiana down to Southeastern Texas down to Mexico. While we see some popcorn cluster showers and storms around much of Eastern Texas and Southern Oklahoma here. And some bands of heavy showers and storms around Western Texas winds of demonstrate winds and hail possible. And the clusters of showers and storms down to Northeastern New Mexico down to Colorado down to Wyoming and Western Dakota, Montana, Central Idaho, down to much of Oregon and Northern California. And we got some shots and storms from Alberta, down from Western Saskatchewan. Good Wyoming, good evening. 94 degrees with clear skies. There. Alright, let's take a look at our satellite loop. Shows a couple of mentions of clouds covering much of Atlantic Canada, searching the Northern Union, searching the Northern Fit in the Middle United States. Number of metro clouds coming up much of the Great Lakes and a couple of blobs of clouds from southeastern India, southwestern Ohio, down for eastern Kentucky, and down for western North Carolina. Metro clouds coming up much of Mexico, down for Louisiana, eastern Texas, and Arkansas, down for southern Missouri, and a couple of clouds from southern Mississippi, Alabama, and down for northern and southern Florida, and a couple of metro clouds coming in from Western Texas and searching in the up in the Rockies and Idaho down for Northern California, Northern Nevada down for Washington down for Oregon and a couple of metro clouds coming from British Columbia and down for Alberta, Saskatchewan and Manitoba down to North Dakota and down to Northeastern Minnesota here. All right, let's take a look at our map situation here. Cold front from North Central Nevada searching up in the Idaho down for Montana and a pink front from Central Montana and up in the Alberta and a warm front from Montana stretching in South Dakota, the cold front from South Dakota stretching out for Northern Idaho. Northern Iowa stretching to the Great Lakes and down to New York City, the station front up to Northern New England, the cold front up to Atlantic Canada. And we got another station front from Utah and a cold front from Northern New Mexico stretching to Kansas, and the station front from Kansas stretching to Oklahoma, and a cold front from Arkansas down to Tennessee, Kentucky. And for the bottom western Texas, Northern New Mexico, Southeastern California, and Wahazam, Mexico. And another friend of mine from Central Virginia down in the Central Carolinas, and another friend of mine from Wyoming down in Colorado. And we got low pressure off Oregon coast, Southern California, Southern Utah, Western Kansas, Northern Mexico, and Northern Wyoming, and Western Wisconsin, Southern Ohio, and Northwestern Pennsylvania, and Maine and New Brunswick. Uh, high pressure in Missouri and Louisiana and New Mexico. 87 degrees out temperature in Boston. It's 88 in Washington, D.C. It's 87 in Atlanta. 90 in Miami. 76 in Bradsville. 74 in Dallas, Texas. 86 in Kansas City. 71 in Chicago. 69 in Minneapolis. It's 74 in Great Falls, Montana. And in Seattle. 68 in San Francisco. 71 in Los Angeles. 88 in Salt Lake City. And in Albuquerque. And 82 in Denver, Colorado. Current issues around the region. We got 
87 in Boston, 87 in Fitchburgh, and Bedford, 86 in Beverly, 85 in Gloucester, it's 82 in Worcester, and Sturbridge, 86 in Webster, 83 in Milford, 86 in Norwood, 85 in Totten, 78 in Webford, it's 84 in Plymouth, 75 in Falmouth, 74 in Chatham, 75 in Prophesy, 68 in Cape Cod Bay, 73 in Boston, 73 in Nantucket, 73 in Block Island, and 74 in West. Julie, 81 in Providence, it's Fitfield, it's 86 in Springfield, 85 in Amherst, 83 in Greenfield, 78 in Pittfield, 80 out of North Ham, 77 in Albany, 81 in Bridgeton, 82 in Keene, 83 in Jefferson, Hampshire, 78 in Concord. Look at Manchester, 90 degrees! And Portsmouth, 95 degrees, and 89 in Nashville, Hampshire, 84 in Windsor, 83 in Hartford, 83 in Burnett, 81 in Waterbury, and 81 in Denbury, and 81 in New Haven, 81 in Bridgeport and the New Haven 74 Long Island Sound 75 miles to get in this limit 78 in New York City. Earned! And this is a threat that is situated right now. That is bringing the heavy rain. Who represented himself at trial is found guilty of raping and students in Boston. This front is bringing some heavy showers and thunderstorms around southeastern New Hampshire air. Okay, let's take a look at public discussion for around the country. There will be a. Prisoner Salona will be sentenced on the new conviction next month. A case in Boston leading to a major Supreme Court ruling involving police. Charles and Dunstall are so the central United States and Charles for the consent of Northwestern New England. As a slow moving cut up front, a bunch of these coasts went to that will deliver around scattered shots and storms for the coastal Carolinas, New England. If a great concentration of rainfall will be likely confined from New York to Maine, where the best force will be found. Low humidity expected around best, but a front behind it for Thursday, while temperatures are not expected to fall for that much. Out west, a building upper level through will set a cold front southward to fight the central Rockies and as a result of the development of ice to scattered shots and storms. Moisture floated from the Pacific would also help generate showers and for parts of the Oregon and Washington to close out the week ahead in this feature across the western half plate isolation. Severe storms will be possible as moisture as the disability will affect it northward. The court says an arrow must pay broadcasters for taking TV shows from the airwaves and then sending them to subscribers who watch on their smartphones. What gets this question around the New England? Sad. Uh, get it showers and then starts to move into Southern New Hampshire. Northwest Massachusetts don't overconnect in this evening. Did it affect the entire region Thursday as a cold front across the region? Dry weather with severe global temperatures and lower humidity levels of rise but Thursday night and continues about the weekend as very warm and humid air returns in early next week. Due to turn until 6 a.m. Thursday morning, scattered showers and thunderstorms have developed ahead of a cold front stretch across New York State and over New England. Now, most of the storms are expected to remain north and move to into Southern New Hampshire. The fact this afternoon, the front approaches to that chance that thunderstorms move further east of the region as it's very slow to move and it will take much of the night tomorrow to get through Southern New England. For tonight, the largest threat is effectively to be local heavy rainfall. Parts were all the way up to 1.88 inches across the northwestern zones are expected to get up to 2.0 inches overnight. While widespread heavy rain is not expected, where strong storms will move to where storm straight. There is potential some urban and porter age flooding as shots and thunderstorms many focus launch across the northwestern half. The area of five midnight and shifts eastward after midnight. Two points in the mid upper 60s and then to towards 70 degrees with a two points. That highest temperature is not going to cool off much with overnight. So expect overnight lines and will up to 60 to slow 70 degrees for a sultry night attack for tonight. Closing arguments in the Seth Mazzalia murder trial, when the jury is expected to get the case. And average rainfall likely tonight through Thursday. The stuff you get, like Cape Cod Islands and Suburban Island, a uh, quarter to a half an inch rain. And you get a half to three quarters of an inch rain for a bunch of Bristol and Plymouth County, not for Norfolk County, and some Worcester County, a bunch of Northern Rhode Island and Eastern Connecticut and Central Southern Connecticut. The more north you go, the more higher the rain totals are as one inch of a three quarters million an inch of rain from Connecticut down to Eastern Springfield, Massachusetts, and stretching out for Central Western County, a bunch of Boston and Points North, and an inch to a quarter, one quarter of an inch rain from Northwest Connecticut down to a bunch of New York, Western and Northern Central Massachusetts, a bunch of Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Here tonight, Locally, heavy rainfall will look like plenty 
A few soft blues from with gusts and all four areas of safety. And it is Central East to New England Thursday. Here. So tonight we'll see severe weather from Central Western Massachusetts over clear to Eastern New York and Southern Rhode Island, New Hampshire. Thursday, much of Eastern Massachusetts and Rhode Island, Central Eastern Connecticut and Eastern Long Island, Southern New Hampshire may get some storms and showers. Here. Alright. Alright. Let's take a look at our future cast right now. Seven o'clock. The showers of thunderstorms are going to make its way from Massachusetts and about Albany and New York City, Eastern Pennsylvania, and Baltimore. And at nine o'clock, the showers will be in northeastern Massachusetts and North Red Fitchburg in western Massachusetts and western Connecticut. And then the showers of thunderstorms will be in western Connecticut and New York City. And then midnight. And 2 a.m. does. So it's still a bit heavy rain. We'll make some rain here in Eastern Connecticut, Western Rhode Island, and it's some showers and storms on stuff Eastern Connecticut up in New Hampshire, Vermont. And then we will see some showers and thunderstorms likely early in the hours of tomorrow morning here. And the storms will move out. And this afternoon we will see some spotty showers and storms tomorrow afternoon here. As we have at. Oi. Let's take a look at our view from outside. It shows a beautiful day on tap with a little humidity in the air here. Oh, wait. Let's take a look at our seven day forecast that goes like this. But tonight, chance of showers with thunderstorms also possible after 1 a.m. Some of the storms will be in the same rate. Patrick Bog left at 2 a.m. Above our sky sky, the Lord 69 degrees south. What about 6 to 10 miles per hour? Gus at 25 miles per hour. Chance of penetration 50%. New rate for our bats between the 7th and the quarter. Then checks out how far it's possible to thunderstorms. Thursday, Charles Lockley possibly a thunderstorm before 5 p.m. Then a chance of shots and thunderstorms also after 5 p.m. Some of the storms will be in the same rate. And Patrick Bog before 11 a.m. Above our sky sky, the high degree 80 degrees south. What about 7 miles per hour? Becoming west of the afternoon. Chance of penetration 70%. New rain fall mass between half and three quarters inch possible. First of that, chance of showers at that zone for 10 p.m. Then a slight chance of showers between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. Patch of fog up to 9 p.m. of water. Most of God's got low to 60 degrees. No foot about 6 miles by chance of just 24 miles by chance of space to 30 percent. New rain fall mass of less than 10 inch. Six of power mass possible at that absorbs. Friday, mostly sun skies high to 76. No foot about 6 miles to 8 miles by Friday night. Most of the coast got lowered 54 degrees and light available wind. Saturday, South got high to 82 degrees. Saturday night, most of the coast got lowered 59 degrees. Sunday, South got high to 82 degrees. Saturday night, Park Coast got lowered 61 degrees. Monday, most of the South got high to 84 degrees. Monday night, Park Coast got lowered 66 degrees. Tuesday, Park Coast got high to 84 degrees. Tuesday night, most of the coast got lowered 68 degrees on Wednesday. Most of the South got high to 85 degrees. Peter's what a phase of the day. Showery and a sultry day, night on tap for tonight and tomorrow. This is PJ with you. Have a good evening with a good positive attitude here.